Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Welcome to Brunette Bibliophile where I post bookish videos and writing content. Today I am here to talk about my reading stats for 2021. For the year of 2021 I was tracking my reading stats and various things such as my ratings and the different genres I read and all of that good stuff. So we are going to jump in and talk about a lot of stuff today. I did a video like this for 2020 and I will link that in the description below as well. This is heavily inspired by Kayla from Books and Lala who is my favorite booktuber to watch and this is not going to be as in-depth as her videos are but I did make a lot of pie charts, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's start off with how many books I read this year. I did read a total of 152 books. My Goodreads goal was 100 books, so I was 52 books over that goal. And I achieved that this year by falling in love with a graphic novel series that I read over the summer, so that kind of beefed up my goal. And I ended up reaching 100 about halfway through the year. I just realized that there was some yard work happening in the distance. So I apologize for the leaf blower sound in the background. So of those 152 books, I read a lot of owned books and I also read a lot of books that I didn't own that came through the library. And I also unhauled four books that I did own and read this year. From the 152 books, 71 books were owned, 74 books were unowned, and four of those books I unhauled. And that comes up to about 47% of my reading was from my own shelves and 49% was not owned by me, so from the library. So it's almost an even split. And then my unhauled picks is a very small percentage. So because I was reading from my shelves a lot this year, a lot of emphasis was put on backlist reads. I consider a backlist anything that is not published in that current year, so anything that was published before 2021. So for new releases, I read 59 2021 releases. I read 30 releases from 2020, 16 from 2019, 8 from 2018, 11 from 2017, 8 from 2016, 7 from 2015, and anything before 2015 I read 14 books. I just realized that this pie chart says 2021 and then releases. Um, but the blue is 2021 books and the red is backlist. So a majority of my reading came from backlist which was 61% and then about 38% of my reading was 2021 releases. Now let's talk about the different genres I read and I split this up into two different categories. First one we're going to talk about is the genre and that's whether it is adult, YA, middle grade, or children's and then we're going to split it up even further by subgenre. So this year I read 55 adult books, 74 YA books, 21 middle grade books, and three children's books. And if you split it up on the chart, a majority of my reading was YA but I feel like that has come down from previous years. So I read 48% YA, so about half of my reading, and then about 35% of my reading was adult books, 13% was middle grade, and then a very small percentage was children's. And then we're going to split it up even further into subgenres, and the subgenres that I created this year are fantasy, contemporary slash romance, retellings, sci-fi slash dystopian, nonfiction, and then other. Other consists of maybe like a graphic novel or a, I think I read a poetry collection, stuff like that. So as you can see by the chart, a majority of my reading was contemporary romance. I feel like it is almost always contemporary romance and it took up 46% of my reading or a total of 67 books. Surprisingly, the next highest is Other, which was, I believe it was um, picture books, poetry books, and graphic novels. And that is 20% of my reading and that mostly comes from the large range of graphic novels that I read this year. The next highest after that is actually tied between three different subgenres, which is fantasy, retellings, and sci-fi and dystopian. And each of those categories I read 14 books, which equals 9.7% of the chart for each one. And then the one I read the least of was nonfiction and I read five nonfiction books this year. And then I also kept track of how many rereads I did this year because I did have a set number of rereads that I wanted to do. 
I didn't complete every reread that I wanted to this year, but I did finish a good portion of them as well as a couple of others that I didn't plan on rereading this year. So out of the 152 books that I read, about almost 10% of my reading was made up of rereads, and that was a total of 14 books, and then 90% of my reading was reading it for the first time. And while we talk about all of the books that I read, let's talk about my ratings. So the most amount of stars that I gave out this year was four stars with 55 books that I read being four stars. The next highest was five star reads. I read 35 five star books this year. I read 12 three star books this year and two two star books this year. I didn't give out any one stars but I did have 30 books that I decided to not rate and most of those are the poetry collections that I read and the graphic novels. I find it very hard to rate graphic novels so I just don't rate them at all. And then as far as half stars that I gave out this year, I gave out five four and a half stars, 13 three and a half stars, and one that was a two and a half star. And of course I decided to put that on a pie chart as well. So this pie chart does look a little chaotic but the biggest category was four stars which made up almost 36% of my reading and the next one being five stars which was 22%. 19% of my reading was made up of books that I did not rate and then eight and a half percent of my reading was made up of three and a half stars. 7.8% was three stars and then everything else was such a small percent that it's barely even on this graph. While we are on the topic of my ratings for the year, the average rating that I had for the entire year was a 4.1. And the last thing I want to talk about is the month that I read the most and the month that I read the least. So the month that I read the most amount of books was actually June with 25 read items and that is when I started the Lumberjanes graphic novel series so a bulk of that came from graphic novels. And then the month that I read the least which I feel like in the past has always been around February, actually came out to be April this year and I read seven books that month. Now while that is the least, seven books is still a really good amount so I must have been killing it for the rest of the months. And those are all of the statistics that I took for 2021. I'm gonna try and do pictures again for 2022 and I'm gonna try and take them at the end of each month. I just I didn't start that in 2021 I don't know why and I feel like I should have um, but I'm gonna try for this year. I am already keeping stats for the new year so I am very excited to see where my reading goes and how it differs between this year and last year. That is all I have for this video today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always if you like what you see here please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. And if you really like my channel consider checking out my Patreon linked in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye! In the darkness I don't feel so cold. The answers fall like rain And somehow we were okay A story drifts between shadows and smoke